watching uh, the daily debate as I said uh, that uh, we had Anissa Kobe from uh, Ghana, a participant at the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum conducting an interview with Nile TV International. Uh, this uh, is what we're talking about basically that yes. we have people from all over Egypt, Africa and uh, the world uh, yes. being connecting at the same time at the same place. Yes. Uh, but do they learn leadership yes. and how to be leading governments and states in yes. the future? Okay, so uh, we, we have two points in this question. Mm. Let's speak firstly about leadership. For sure, we learn about leadership because of what? Because, because uh, it's a journey from, from the day you've been accepted to attend the conference. Actually, we invite people who are potential leaders. Mm. So uh, I was invited, firstly, um, I was invited by the dean of my university, it was three, four years ago. And actually I was leading already a, a charity called AYB and uh, we've been uh, giving trainings for people regarding communication skills and many other, it was, it was the most amazing part mm. regarding my university days, you know. Yes. Uh, and I was, uh, I felt glad because, I'm proud of myself because they mentioned that you've been, uh, you've been like chosen after a filtration process. Um, and I said, okay, let's go. And so, you know, um, my first day during the breakfast, I met a lot of people and uh, this is Dina. I, I, I work as one, two, three. I have a, I, I'm a volunteer for two years now. Uh, what do you have to, to share about yourself? Guess what? I got, let's say, Ahmed. He's also a president in another, in another um, um, a charity and a lot of people who have a lot of activities. So I felt like, okay, I have a lot of people with the same mindset. Let's go ahead and do further stuff. So I felt like, um, let's go. This like uh, check what we have for today. Yes. I felt like the sessions are about someone is speaking, is a speech. I'll clap and that's it. But no, it mm. was uh, we've been involved in many activities. Interaction. Yes, mm. and also we we we've we've given our opinions as well. And also, I thought that it's only an opinion to share. Um, so one of my colleagues in the conference, by the way, he's leading, um, if you're going back home on October Bridge, you will find the billboard of his startup. Mm. And I felt like, okay, it came, like, things came real, you know. Uh, I know so, this guy. You know him? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so, so uh, I can tell the name, by the way. Mm. His name is uh, Nagetti. He was, he was the, um, he was the general manager of. I'm not sure if I can say no, not the, the say, name. Not it's, the name it's, of yeah, it's, uh, the it's, company. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a transportation company. Yes. One of the, the like the the, le the mm. like the most leading the transportation companies, and he has his uh, his startup right now. Mm. So. A and you met him at the World Youth Forum? Yes, it was my first time to meet him, yes. Mm. And I, I invited him to one of my trainings, by the way, mm. and he got me an opportunity after the conference so that I can give trainings, but guess what, it's paid. <laughs> so I made money out of the conference. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, let's get back to the, the schedule of the, the meetings. Yes. So the first day, I, I have been heard to. Like, I shared my opinion about many stuff. And second day, I was introduced to the entrepreneurship. I'm a medical student. I give trainings, 100% uh, educational content about uh, soft skills and stuff. But I was introduced to entrepreneurship. And this was the day I met uh, Nagetsi. Mm. Uh, like, I, I, asked, I asked many people, uh, what's your major? Guess what, they are engineering. Um, you know, um, um, tourism. It has nothing to do with economy. It has nothing to do with being an entrepreneur. Different fields. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so it's all about the mindset, the mentality. It has nothing to do with. It has nothing to do with your major, with what you studied, because by the end of the day, remember Mark Zuckerberg, the one, the the guy who invited. Uh, sorry, um, who uh, created Facebook. Um, he, he didn't graduate from Harvard, mm. so, so it's all about what you feel, what you think about, and what you apply on the ground. Mm. 
not so, just about the degree that you hold. Yeah, no, it's not about the degree. Because, because I made money while I was a student, mm. out of the trainings and the public speaking. Mm. So, so and, and this is one impact I got out of the conference, by the way. By the second edition, I applied for many opportunities so that I can, I can work in, a, on, in charities. I'm being a volunteer. And then the first concept of leadership, which is self-leadership. Mm. I decided that I will help my father. I will not get my daily allowance of money each and every day. I can make money yeah. myself. Actually, it's not that much like I still can take the money you from my father. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I feel like I can go for online shopping and I can go for other stuff. And I can learn different, different um, uh, ideas as well so that I can make more money. So that was about the second edition. So, so this can teach you more about uh, entrepreneurship. Yes. It's not just about being a medical student or graduating from college or yes. graduating from the World Youth Forum. No. Uh, it, as you said, the mentality, the mindset, I can make money. I can make uh, new I can. friendships. I can. I, I can. can make and full money. stop. Yes, I, can I, make, can. I can do everything. <laughs> yes. At the same time. Yes. Yeah, this is something that you were taught. Yes. During uh, participating at the World Youth Forum. For sure, yes. Mm. And this was the second edition. Mm. The third edition, I got back and I had like my own agenda. You know, it's the same sustainable. You have yes, you I'm know experienced what, what now. <laughs> yes. yes. So I felt like, okay, I have my own personal agenda. Mm. I decided each and every day that I will know, uh, I will know someone new, and this person is supposed to be one Egyptian person of a different field, one, um, one person of another nationality of the same field, and I got it. It was the girl that I met, and she invited me to her house. Mm. And then uh, uh, the third person is someone of a different nationality with a different field, like, uh, let's say, on, an entrepreneur from, let's say, Ghana. Mm. So I felt like, OK. It, things happen. Things happen. I, I started searching about people. I started searching for people. And I got it. And also, I applied for one of the projects. Me and my friends, uh, we were, we've been a team. Now, like, because we've diff we have different majors, if each and every person got um, another, like, different job. But back to that time, we uh, pitched our ideas. Mm. And uh, it was, like, we, we got support. And we got back to Fikret Akshar Kirak, your, your company, your, your, idea. No, your idea, your mm. company, yes, and uh, the Ministry of Investment, and they were ready for us to give, to give the, uh, the fund and also to, to uh, support us with experts. And I'm glad that, uh, like, I was part of the team, but, you know, my major, I have to be a doctor, so <laughs> I left them. Unfortunately. <laughs> yes. Actually... Let me tell you something. It's on TV, but, but I can I can I can tell. Um, medicine is is not that much creative as I expected. Mm. Entrepreneurship is all about creativity. Like you, you have your mind you have your mind uh, working, and you have a lot of brainstorming. You have a lot of challenges. But for a doctor, you have to stick to the guidelines, and you have That's to. That's why a lot of doctors uh, turn to be artists. Yes, yes. And the I, actors. Uh, yeah. Um, By the way, I told my sister to apply. She, she was uh, uh, a secondary year, um, uh, secondary uh, school, sorry, secondary school um, uh, senior. And I told her, no medicine, you have to be creative. And she's studying fine arts right now. And this is um, a change of mentality and mindset yes. because yes. Um, we can speak 10 years back. Yes. Every young Egyptian, yes. every family, they want the student to be a doctor, an engineer. Including my is, family. <laughs> it is the same pattern for every young man or woman. So yes. it changed your mind. Yes. And you changed your sister's mind, yes, for yes, example. Yes. Mm. And, and she's working right now in her, in, uh, on her own idea. Um, I hope that she can be an entrepreneur by the end of her uh, graduation. Mm. Uh, but, um, you know, each and every time I feel like um, um, it's boring for medicine and stuff. I also um, um, made the decision to be a researcher in medicine, hmm. just not to stick to the guidelines. You know what? 
I decided that it's going to be me who uh, uh, like generate the guidelines. If I have a new, a new project, research project, and we are a team, we will work on it and we will search for the fund because, you know, uh, like you have to, fi to find someone supporting the idea um, and also giving the fund. So I, I found it like, like for the conference, if I, if I didn't attend, I would have never been to the, the foundation part of, of the, the projects. I could have uh, joined, you know, corporates or big hospitals without creating something from the beginning. Mm. Um, I'm always because you're going through a path. Yes, yes. The same path but, that but to, the, the family wanted. <laughs> yes. But to go from the path, to, to go through a path yes. from zero, like I, it's not even like step by step from zero. This is the mindset that each and every person in the conference developed. And I'm glad that the network that we, that we got in the conference is getting bigger because we've got a, a platform on social media and we sh we're sharing the, the, the challenges that we had after the conference. So I don't feel I'm alone. No, I feel like, like for now, I don't attend the conference because I'm a graduate, but I feel like I can share what I have with people. And maybe if I have a down today, my colleague in, let's say, uh, anywhere else in Morocco has the same exact down this day, and we it's will like be up together. It's like a family. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. By the way, one of the, since I'm a doctor, I can share with you um, one, of, one of the most um, important motives for depression and suicidal attacks is that people feel alone. Mm -hmm. I'm alone. So Facing if I'm not the challenge alone, alone, the problem alone. Yes. So if I'm not alone, so I'm alive, since mm. it's the the opposite of suicidal. Mm. So I feel I feel alive because I got people to 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 share what I have with, and also not to feel like okay, I have a lot of challenges today. We have a campaign, and we have to educate people about a lot of stuff, sustainable development, and yes. people are not that much responsive. Yes, uh, speaking of uh, the World Youth Forum, uh, yes. we will be speaking as well about the uh, simulation models of uh, the United Nations, yes, for example. Yes, it uh, was today. The Egyptian uh, government, the Egyptian cabinet, and the presidency, yes. uh, even the part of Ask the President. Yes. We'll be having more information about that in uh, the upcoming report about the uh, simulation models at the World Youth Forum.